What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over keyword cannibalization, giving you some tips and best practices, how to find keyword cannibalization and how to fix it. This is part 13 of my SEO tutorial for beginners, so we're going to get right into it. So keyword cannibalization, first let's start just defining it. So when you have multiple pages on your website optimized for the same SEO keyword, it can actually hurt your rankings. So you're better off having one page for each keyword rather than having multiple pages of content, multiple blog posts for the same exact keyword. So what does that mean? So an example of keyword cannibalization, let's just say I'm writing about SEO trends every single year. So in 2018, I write an article, SEO trends in 2018 to follow. 2019, I write the same article, but update it for 2019. And then in 2020, I write the same exact article again, uh, but I just have it updated for 2020 again. So I have three different articles on my website, one for 2018, one for 2019, one for 2020. This can actually hurt your rankings for the keyword SEO trends because you have three separate pages on your website. Google probably already has the 2018 one ranked when you write the 2019 one. And then they're kind of deciding which page should we be ranking for this individual search term. And essentially what you're doing is you're hurting your own website by having three separate articles about the same topic. So I'm going to go over how to fix this, but just in case there's any confusion, I'm going to give you a quick, is this keyword cannibalization? So let's say I have five separate articles on my website, a keyword research tutorial. Let's just assume this is a complete guide to keyword research, why it's important, what it is, pretty much everything you need to know about keyword research. And then I have other articles on my website, SEO keyword research, Pinterest keyword research, best free keyword research tools, and then how to do keyword research for Google ads campaigns. So is this keyword cannibalization? The answer quite simply is no. So you're actually helping yourself by writing articles about different topics and subtopics. The way that I would look at this is you would have your keyword research tutorial that is about the topic of keyword research. And then all these other ones are actually subtopics, SEO, Pinterest, free keyword research tools, and then Google ads. So those are subtopics based on keyword research. And you can actually link these individual subtopics back to your main topic page. So you're not cannibalizing yourself by writing articles about similar topics. What you don't want to do though, is in the previous example about SEO trends, I wouldn't want to write about SEO keyword research five different times, five different ways. You want to kind of keep it all in the same exact article, have basically one article for each topic that you're covering or each subtopic that you're covering. So avoiding keyword cannibalization is actually pretty easy on your website. So how to avoid it? Number one is just create one page. So write one article about a topic, let's say like SEO trends and keep it updated on a yearly basis. So rather than writing the 2018, the 2019 and the 2020 version, write a page on your website and just have the URL as SEO trends and keep it updated every single year. Number two is if you do have multiple articles targeting the same keyword, merge them into one article, set up 301 redirects and delete the old pages. So what you would want to do is if you have three separate articles, I would say find the page that is performing the best in the Google search results. I can show you how to do that. You can also see that data in your Google analytics account or directly through Google search console. And then what you want to do is keep that article, take the other two articles that you've written, kind of merge them all together into one large resource rather than three separate articles. It doesn't mean you're just copying pasting each article, but basically what you want to do is merge that content as best as you possibly can for the people that are visiting your website. Last but not least is if you do have two pages on your website and you don't want to delete any of them, you don't want to narrow it down to just one page, you can use canonical URLs to make this really easy to understand. A canonical URL is the one that you're telling Google and other search engines, this is the page I prefer you to rank in your search engine. So in reviewing my own website, beachfronttocore.com, looking at these first two options here for avoiding keyword cannibalization, I was going through my content, making sure I don't have any of these issues on my own website. And what I've done is I created an article about best wicker patio furniture sets for 2020. And then I also have an article on my website, best outdoor wicker patio furniture. So this is an example of keyword cannibalization. These two pages are way too similar to each other. They're both ultimately looking at outdoor wicker patio furniture and wicker patio furniture sets. So rather than putting them into two separate articles, I'm better off combining them into one article. So what I would want to do is take these pages and review them directly through the Google search console. If we come over here to the Google search console for beachfronttocore.com, what I would recommend doing is if you're going to merge two articles, I have, I'm in my performance screen right here. We have total clicks, total impressions. Just come here to new, go to page 
and then what we would do is take the URLs and we could do exact URL here and I would come back over here copy the first page so we're going to copy it we're going to paste it here and click on apply so this specific page has 1.31k total impressions six total clicks over the last three months so really not a whole lot it looks like it's picked up a little bit recently okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to come over and we're going to take this other page here so outdoor wicker patio furniture and we're going to click here and rather than wicker patio furniture sets we're going to have our other url here click on apply i think both of those urls are perfect for seo i think either one will work and you can see here more impressions more clicks over the last three months so this is the page that i would, I would want to work with so what i would want to do is come over here and outdoor wicker patio furniture is the page that i want to keep so I would come and delete this wicker patio furniture sets page first copy the content paste it over onto this page and then I'm just going to need to organize it and make sure it looks good. So if I have a lot of duplicate content on both pages then just get rid of whatever is duplicate take whatever is new whatever is unique and you want to merge them together into one article this best outdoor wicker patio furniture. And then you just want to set up a 301 redirect for this page to redirect directly to this page. So now essentially what I'm telling Google is, okay, I realized I had two pages on my website that were way too similar. So I just want you to redirect this URL to the other URL because this is the preferred URL that I have for this individual page for this keyword that I'm targeting. Now coming back over here, how to avoid keyword cannibalization. Hopefully that covers the first two options here, creating just one page. So that's what I should have done in the beginning. Instead, I created two separate pages about outdoor wicker patio furniture and what I need to do is set up a 301 redirect for the one page that I'm going to delete and merge both of those pages into just the one page. Keep the one page. I don't need to set up a brand new page. I already have some traffic going to that page. That's just going to be the page I need to continue to improve after I delete the other one. Now, number three is going to be canonical URLs. So essentially with canonical URLs, I would come over and I'm going to use a different example here. So let's just say I have this page on my website, nautical bedding sets. I have a nautical duvet covers page. I have nautical bedding sets and nautical bedspreads. So I have a lot of different URLs on my page that are geared towards nautical bedding. So if I do a site search for my own website, you can see some of these different pages. I'll go through this a little bit more in, in detail. But what I would do is I would come over here and I essentially want my blog post page to rank. So if we come over here, this is my blog post. So if I scroll all the way to the bottom, you're going to see I have my Yoast SEO here, my focus key phrase, nautical bedding. If we come over to the product category, so just to look quickly at sitebeachrentacore.com, this right here is my blog post and up here, nautical bedding sets right here is my product page. So I don't want this product page to rank. I prefer my blog post pages to rank. They tend to do better in search engines in general. So those are the ones that I prefer. So what I would do is I would come over to the product category. You can see nautical bedding sets. I'm in the product category here. Under Yoast SEO, if I come down and I click on advanced here, so I'm clicking on advanced, I can enter a canonical URL. I can also say allow search engines to show this category. I could say no. I'm just going to say yes. That's my current default. I want my product categories to still show in search results because I don't have individual blog posts for every single category. So sometimes I'm still getting traffic from these category pages. I don't want to lose that traffic. So what I can do instead is take this canonical URL field right here and I would come over, take my blog post page, ultimate guide to nautical bedding sets, not the best URL. It's a page I created several years ago. But I would just come over here, paste this as the canonical URL, click on update. And now I'm telling search engines, I would prefer you to rank my blog post rather than this page because they're both focused on the same keyword. This one says the focus keyword is nautical bedding sets. This one over here says the focus keyword is nautical bedding. Essentially, they're the same exact thing. So avoiding keyword cannibalization, these are some different ways to avoid it. Now finding keyword cannibalization. The four different ways that I like to use is a content metadata audit. So you're exporting your posts and pages, reviewing title tags, meta descriptions, and the focus keywords that you have set for those pages, creating a keyword content map. So what you want to do is you want to map individual keywords to the content, to the pages that are on your website using the Google search console. So I'll go over this in a little bit more detail, but you can review individual search terms and search queries for specific pages. Last but not least, like I just showed you, the Google site search, do a search in Google, so site, and then you're doing a colon, your website, and then entering a keyword. So just to quickly go through the Google site search real quick. So I've already kind of gone through that. You can see here site, beachfront decor, and then the keyword nautical bedding. 
So seeing this page is ranking higher than the other page, what I want to do is I want this page to rank higher. So I just need to make this page higher quality in terms of user experience and overall content because they're very similar. So I have the products from this page listed on this page. So that's kind of a form of duplicate content. So with canonical URLs, I can take this site search, looking at these individual keywords here, and then just trying to find the different pages that are ranking, making sure I have the right page ranking for the right keyword. And if I find some duplicate content, like I showed you before with Wicker Furniture, making sure I'm merging those pages together so I don't have multiple pages targeting the same exact keyword. Now, the other two at the top here, content metadata audit, create a keyword content map. Not going to look the greatest, but a content metadata audit is going to look something like this. So these are the SEO titles for the different pages and posts on my website. Just a sampling of some of them. These are the key phrase I'm focused on. So what I could do is as I create more and more content, I want to make sure I set my main short tail key phrase here. So if I'm going through and I find that I have two pages focused on coastal sofas, then I know I need to make changes to those pages, maybe merge them into one page or pick the preferred page using the canonical tag. Now the other one is a keyword content map, keyword map. And what you can see here is I have some of my top keywords and then the page that each of the keywords are mapped to. So somewhere where I see none, this is an opportunity for me to improve my pages on my website to make sure I am targeting all those keywords. But also what you can find is if I find some of these different keywords here, let's just say beach theme bedroom. Let's say I had three or four pages on my website based around this keyword beach theme bedroom. I would just want to merge them all into one. Now coming back over here, the last one is Google search console. So I've gone through that a little bit, but if we come over to the Google search console, so we're in Google search console here for beachfronttocore.com. What I can do is click on new here. So I would click on new. And then what I can do is look at query. So let's just say, for example, queries containing, or I can do exact. So let's just say I do nautical bedding. So this is actually how I found the issue for my nautical bedding sets page. So nautical bedding, you're going to see this individual search term has driven me 16 clicks, 852 impressions over the last seven days. So if I keep scrolling down, you're going to see some of the different pages that have driven these clicks. And the main one is this product category page. So you can see this has more impressions, more clicks, better click through rate. But if you're seeing two pages on your website for one of these short tail keywords, ranking about the same, getting about the same amount of impressions for an exact search term, then what you want to do is make sure you're using the canonical tag to keep one list at the very top. And you can see this one is getting more clicks. So you might ask, why am I, why do I want this page to rank over this page? Ultimately, I know this page can get more impressions and more clicks for short tail keywords like nautical bedding and then long tail keywords like nautical bed spreads, nautical comforter sets. So some of these different keywords. So that's why I prefer my blog style posts. So hopefully that kind of clears up what keyword cannibalization is. You don't want multiple pages on your website targeting the same keyword. So just using this example, you don't want to write about SEO trends five different times, even two different times. You just want to write about it once and then keep that page updated. So that's keyword cannibalization. If you have any questions about it, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.